Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here on the 28th day of the seventh month in the year 2021. And we're talking about the 17th day of the fourth month. Now, apparently this is one of the minor Jewish holidays that they celebrate throughout the year. But the purpose of this video is to see, is it a biblical holiday? Talking about the 17th day of the fourth month. Are there events in the Bible that we're supposed to remember on this day? Or is there another day of interest in the fourth month, like the ninth day of the fourth month? Now, this is important because the fast of the fifth month approaches and it appears as though the Jewish community is celebrating it on a different day as well. So we're going to be talking about what day the fifth month fast is supposed to fall on if it's not the ninth day of the fifth month or the ninth of Av. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about the scripture that support these two festival days, the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth month. And if you would, go ahead and hit that like button and be prepared to leave a comment as we go. Um, we're looking for the 17th day of the month. So we've gone in and this is searching through the uh, King James Version as well as the Apocrypha looking for the word 17 and we see that we have about eight hits starting off with a Genesis chapter 7 and chapter 8 but you see it gets into first Kings but it's also talking about the year uh, like in second Kings it's talking about the year so if we narrow this search down and just look for a day and 17th 17th day look for both uh, words 17th day we see there are only two times in the Bible as well as the Apocrypha that you have the word 17th and day in the same verse and they are talking about Noah's flood there in Genesis chapter 7 and verse 11 as well as the ark uh, resting in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month there in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 4 now my point in all of this is that this being the 17th day of the fourth month there are a lot of people who are celebrating this day or fasting on this day I don't I don't I use the word celebrating loosely um, it is a fasting day a day when we are supposed to um, fast like you read over there in Isaiah let me jump over there and find that right quick so we're talking about the um, fast of the fourth month you have Nehemiah chapter uh, 9 and verse 1 you have um, Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 19 which is say, talking about the fast of the fourth month as well as the fifth the seventh and the tenth month it says that you have these fasts and it's talking about how Judah um, is going to one day look and enjoy these fasts. They're going to be days of they're going to be days of cheerful feasts. So the point is, is that we are in this season right now where we are supposed to be celebrating uh, this fast. Now I do understand that the calendar is a little bit mixed up, especially here in the year 2021, but is even a little bit more confusing when you look at how the world is celebrating on the 17th day of the fourth month but like when we looked over there in the scripture we didn't see um, any references to uh, scripture on the 17th day of the, the, the month now this one scripture that we're looking at here uh, Zechariah chapter 8 I think it was uh, verse 19 is talking about these fasts of the fourth month, the fast of the fifth, and the other uh, uh, fast that we're supposed to, you know, remember these particular days. 
And if you're not sure about what days he's talking about, just as an aside note, we'll come over here to Second uh, Kings chapter 25 is um, probably the number one chapter. Um, uh, the only other competition along with it would be the last chapter in Chronicles. You know, they kind of go together. And so if you put those two chapters together, you have the most complete picture of these events that took place. You see here, like it's talking about in verse 1, the 10th day of the 10th month. Um, that's connected with the time that um, every a lot of things as far as the temple is concerned um, happen on the 10th day of the 10th month. But this one is talking particularly about when Nebuchadnezzar came into Jerusalem and after he had starved the people out for um, a number of, of years, I believe two years, um, he came in and um, burned the temple down. That would have been on the um, um, day that we're talking about. Um, this famine is the fast of the fourth month. That's after he had starved the people out and they were, you know, extremely hungry. That's what we're fasting about on the, the fourth month. But we were talking about the tenth month. That's the time when they actually took the gold and the silver out of the temple and carried it back to Jerusalem. So we understand that the events of the tenth month actually happened first. Let me jump back over there. Um, to Zechariah because it's um, a little bit out of order when we read it there but when we look back over there at Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 19 it says the fast of the fourth month but like we said that's the time that we'll read here that the um, Famine came to a head. It was at this point that the people started escaping. They started trying to get out of the city. But the point of all of this is the 17th day of the fourth month. Now, we sent you guys a heads up on the ninth day of the fourth month, or maybe it was the 10th day of the fourth month. We could jump back over there and look at the scripture. So we can look back over here at when we see the fourth month in the Bible. And we're going to look for the exact phrase that will take us from 13 uh, times we saw fourth month to uh, six times we see fourth month. And the first one is the same chapter we were talking about over there. That's Second Kings uh, chapter 25. And verse 3 is what we were talking about, the ninth day of the fourth month. But my point is, is that you don't see any 17th day here. You get looking at First Chronicles chapter 27 and verse 7. But it's talking about the captain of the month there in the fourth month. But if we look at all six of these, none of these say anything about the 17th day of the uh, fourth month. Like Jeremiah chapter 52 and verse 6 is talking about the fourth month, but it's talking about the ninth day of the fourth month. And it is also talking about the same exact event that we read about over there in Second Kings. And it says, and in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city so that there was no bread for the people of the land. So that's what we're, that's what this fast of the fourth month is all about. The fact that, um, you know, when they was taking our temple from us, one of the things that they did was they actually starved the people out, you know, made it to where they could not bring food into the gates of the city. They had water because, you know, they had an internal water source in, you know, the temple mount. But when it comes to um, food, they didn't have any food, so they lasted for years. And but when the, you know, the famine was very sore there in the fourth month, that's when the king and the the uh, military tried to escape, and they ended up getting caught, and ended up you know, bad things happening. You know, 
the fifth month, I believe, came right after that. That's when they burned the city down. But you can read about that in uh, Second Kings um, or Second Chronicles. The point of this video is this whole ninth day versus seventeenth day. You say, well, why is this important, Coach? You know, we 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 was paying attention to your videos, and we saw that the uh, fast of the fourth month was a week or two or so ago. But so why are you telling us this now when, you know, we're here on the 17th day and the Jewish community are doing the Jewish thing? Who cares about that? Well, it's because of the fast of the fifth month is coming up. That's number five. And it actually falls on um, a particular day associated with the same events that we're talking about here um, as far as them burning down the tabernacle and the temple let's go over there and let's show you what I mean and then we'll come back to the date here now second Kings may not be the best place to go to read this story but it is the one that I'm the most familiar. I'm, I'm still kind of new to all of this. And so it is just the one that I'm the most familiar with right now. But, okay, you, you start off on the 10th day of the 10th month. That's what happens first. Um, that corresponds to about January of 2022. And then you have the uh, fourth month there. That would be, you know, if, if my guesstimation is correct, you know, this would be um, six months later in the year 2022 where you'll be talking about this famine being broken up here um, then we want to scroll all the way down to verse 8 where it says and in the fifth month on the seventh day of the month which is the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, a servant of the king of Babylon unto Jerusalem. And he burnt the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem and every great man's house burnt he with fire. So now you understand here now that there, there is no contradiction. Somebody's ears perked up when we said the seventh day of the month, but that was the day he came. You know, he didn't, you know, come in, you know, burning crap down. You know, he, he, he was a, he was a logical man. And so he came in, um, like any normal person would do. And, you know, with terms and of terms of negotiation thing about it, they didn't go well for anybody involved. So he ended up burning the place down only a few hours later. So now we're looking at fifth month in the exact phrase, and we see we have 11 hits here, starting with the first one being Numbers chapter 33 and verse 38, which is talking about Aaron in the first day of the fifth month. Then the next time you see, that brings us down to the verse we were looking at, that's 2 Kings verse 25 and verse 8. But that's the only time we hear about the fifth month in the book of Kings. And the next time that we hear about the uh, fifth month is, like we said, the captain of the fifth month. And then you down in Ezra chapter 7, which is when Zerubbabel and, or Ezra came into Jerusalem. This, this is right after they had completed the second temple, like you read there in Ezra chapter 6. So Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 3 is along the lines of what we're talking about here when it's talking about how they carried away captives. Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. And this would have been the same time that people like Daniel was carried away into Babylon as well. So this is the fast of the fifth month. But we're looking here for the day. So, so far, the only thing we really see is the seventh day of the fifth month. Now, here may be the verse we're looking for in Jeremiah 52 and verse 12. It says, Now, in the fifth month, in the tenth day of the month, which 
was the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, which served the king of Babylon into Jerusalem. So here is a reference to the 10th day of the fifth month. So this is what we would call the 10th of Av. So we've had a reference to the 7th of Av back there in the book of Kings. But we notice that this is the exact same event that we're talking about here. And this is what we said when you heard me say that there is no contradiction. Because you know that these two verses exist where one is saying the 7th day while the other one is saying the 10th day. And you say, well, which one is correct? Well, they're both correct. You just have to look at the wording that is used. One says this is the day that he showed up. He showed up on the 10th day of the month while the other one says, you know, what we're about to see here in the scripture that actually happened next. Like what you see, verse 13 says, And burn the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and all the houses of the great men. Burn he with fire. So this is the fast of the fifth month when they actually burn it down. So my point is, is that this is happening on the tenth day of the month. Okay? But when you hear them talking about the fast, or you're talking about the hot, their big day, um, they're going to talk about the ninth day of the fifth month. Just like in the fourth month, they're talking about the 17th day of the fourth month, which we don't see a scriptural reference for. In the fifth month, they're going to do the same thing and have us keeping the fast on an insignificant day. All while the day that's described in the Bible will go unrecognized. Talking about the 10th day of the 5th month. The 10th of Av is the day that we were seeing over there. As the day they burned this place down. But what we're hearing the Jewish community say is that it is the 9th day of the 5th month. Now, if they're doing so only because... Jewish holidays, like sacred holidays, start on the evening before. Maybe that's one thing. Maybe that's what's actually going on here. But what I want to do now is I want to do a search for ninth, fifth month. I had to turn my exact phrase button off. But when I do so, I get one verse, one hit. Maybe this is the uh, main verse. It's Jeremiah chapter 36 and verse 9. Which says, and it came to pass in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem. So this is talking about the fifth year. So our search was for every verse that had ninth, fifth, and month in the same verse we only found one and it's talking about the year so let's take out this word here and replace it with 10th we get the verse that we just saw which is Jeremiah chapter 52 and verse 12 then we also have a verse from Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 1 which says and it came to pass in the seventh year in the fifth month the tenth day of the month that Certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and sat before me. This is Ezekiel. He's having prophecies on the same day that these events happened. Now, the next time we see all of those words in the same verse is here in Zechariah chapter um, 8 and verse 19, which is what we've been talking about. So I hope you see my point here is that we're seeing 10th. We, we have a 10th day of the fifth month but we don't really have a ninth day of the tenth month but when it comes time for the jewish community to do this fast they're going to be talking about the ninth day of the uh fifth month but that's the same thing they did in in the fourth month they're celebrating on the 17th which there is no biblical reference for the 17th day of the fourth month nothing happened in the bible 
or even in the Apocrypha whatsoever on that particular day, the, the 17th day of the book. We didn't look in the hidden books, um, Enoch, Jasper, and Jubilees, but, you know, we can if we want to. I'm sure that we're going to find nothing more significant than what actually happened on the ninth day of the fourth month. Um, well, when you have the famine there, and I hope I'm getting these days right, I should be, you know, have them written down in front of me or whatever. But my point is, is that these so-called holidays that the Jewish community is keeping are not biblical when it comes to the dates. And, you know, and if you think about the other stuff, they added into it, you know, how they're remembering, um, other events like Holocaust and um, slavery events, this and you know, six day war, that whatever they wanted, whatever they wanted to add to it. When you look at the events that actually happen in the Bible, they happen on different days, and those are the days we're supposed to be celebrating. So, I hope you guys got the point. I mean, we just want to be remembering the crack day, you know, sure, this is not a um. Um, high holy day or anything it's not a required festival or anything like that hey Mr. Fred but we do want to make sure we're getting the, the, the correct day the day is correct um, or if no more than it's simply a practice for later on when we're trying to get all of the feast days correct if we're in the habit of getting these days correct uh, even in the off season in the practice time like on a, a fast day the fifth day uh, the, the fast of the fifth month we will be better at making sure that we get these days right when it comes to the um, high holy days particularly um, the memorial blowing of trumpets or that day of remembrance whatever you want to call it all right so we're going to go ahead and close this out guys so the purpose of this video is that it is the 10th day of Av, not the 9th day of Av. The 9th day of Av don't really mean anything biblically, guys. It's a Jewish holiday. It's a Jewish day. The same way the 17th day is of the 4th month is a Jewish holiday. The biblical holiday that they're, that they're mimicking is actually the 10th of Av. So um, let's, let's concentrate on, on that. All right. And with that, we're going to close this video out. I'm with them. I'm gonna say shalom.